Use the handle on it, but come up with the loose ball there with Amber Ramirez. She puts up the shot as the shot clock goes up, and she hits the three. Lady Raiders do not have anybody out there that can make a three, but Zuri Sanders does right there. ECU trying to play that aggressive man, and Texas Tech getting it inside and force the action and get to the free throw line. And they do get it inside, this TCU to Jordan Moore, and, and then they just had a little bit of a challenge making some shots, but both are well over 50%. Set it back to Amber Ramirez. Now it's Hurd, and Hurd gets it to go down. Wilby will again drives, puts up a little bit of a move, missing, rebound though, and Johnny on the spot is Aaron DeGrate. Season. This is Bree Blair. She did not play Saturday at Iowa State. She had 19 the last time these two teams played. California goes to Bree Blair. Bree will take the three. She puts up the shot, and bank is open. Obviously, still with tournament aspirations at 17 and 9 and 8 and 7 in the conference on the baseline. Rebound to TCU. Here they come on the fast break. Grayson Bright tries to go for the steal, the slap. Can't come up with it. Sis in field goal percentage and three-point percentage and free throw percentage. Good aggressive move that time by Keanu Ray. That, uh, dip that right shoulder and go left every time. This is Oconquo up over Brittany Brewer, and she gets it to fall. NCAA turn. Lady Raiders throw it away. This is Tori Thompson with the fast break layup. Good. She's got the four fouls. Here's reverse layup. Good for Zuri Sanders. Reverse layup. That ends about a 10-minute scoring drought for the Lady Raiders, but here's a three ball that's up and good. And that's what they do best is they get the ball up and down the floor. Here's Angel Hayden. She rattles the rim. Outside, making them take some quick shots. TCU doing a good job of getting it inside to Jordan Woods. Yep, for TCU, and it's no good for Ramirez, but getting the rebound and putting it back up for TCU is Dakota Van. Four. Back to Thompson, who just checked into the game. Inside the more up and over, Brittany Brewer. She leads all TCU rebounders, and that's what she does as a team, too. She leads the team as the three-point shot goes up and in for Tori Thompson. And also shooting a little higher than their average at 44% uh, from three-point line positions, and that's that's what he was all about. He loved competition. Here's Diola Bodie. She goes in and hits the bucket by Okonkwo. Now on the baseline, Jerry Sanders puts up. That's her second three of the night. Heard with the foul. That's her third, fourth team foul. Well, at this point, is nice pass. After TCU will look at that and go, that's a girl that wants to get some playing time. They go inside to Angel Hayden and Angel. Whenever she's talking to the media, but um, every day in practice and before every game. Two from three. Gives it up to Lindsey Wilby. He'll take the shot and she'll hit it. And for TCU. Uh, that is their ninth three of the night, nine of 21. Texas Tech will answer with yet another three. We'll get to that here in just a second and show you the stats on Zuri. Oh, nice going pass. inside Jada Terry. Zuri makes it Sanders. a 12-point deficit. Season in Texas Tech will drop to 17, 7 and 20 on the season. So our final score here tonight, 72 to 60, as the two coaches shake hands.